beginning shortly immediately after birth and really for the first few years of life, the brain is, is making connections between brain cells at a very rapid pace. Every second, the brain is making between 700 and 1,000 new connections among brain cells every second. Okay? So that is taking in all kinds of experiences, physical interactions, kind of um, baby sensations, um, how a baby is processing what's going on, what a baby hears, what a baby sees, the physical contact, all of that is making connections. You could think about the baby's brain as kind of like old Paris, where there were a million little tiny streets all wiggling around in different directions. So in the baby's brain, there's many, many different routes and possible connections from one neuron, one nerve cell to another nerve cell. Um, what happens in development is that those pathways that are used a lot get maintained and strengthened, and the ones that aren't used just sort of disappear. So the adult brain looks much more like uh, Paris after Monsieur Hausmann had, had tidied it up. So there's big boulevards, big straight roads that go from one place to another very quickly and very straightforwardly, but you don't have the kind of little side paths that you have in the baby's brain. The brain never stops developing until you die. If you're 100 years old, and you learn something that you didn't know before, your brain makes new connections, if you remember it the next day, right? So, so, but the most rapid period of brain development is in the first few years. But because it's so rapid and because it builds the foundation, it's, that's why it's so important. Because everything that follows has to build on that foundation made in the first few years. So if you have a house that has a weak foundation or poor wiring in the beginning, and then you want to remodel, so you bring in a contractor, kind of looks at the house and says, you know, this, is a, this house wasn't built very well. Uh, when we open up the walls, maybe we're going to find bad wiring. I think there's a crack in the foundation. I think you're better off just tearing the house down and starting over. Um, and people do that. They tell you, you'll get a better house, and it actually will cost you less if you start over. Well, you can't do that with a brain. You can't kind of tear it down. You can't start over. So you have to work with what's been built in the beginning. You don't build the roof before you build the foundation. So you have, that's the way the brain works. It builds basic circuits for simple skills first. It builds more complex circuits for more complex skills later. Different things come in at a very predictable time, just like you would plan the sequence of building a house. So when they come in, when they're built is pretty much controlled by genetics, but how they're built is controlled by experience. O que me vem à cabeça é uma imagem que é da minha infância. Sabe o que, que é? é? O meu pai tinha uma loja de material de construção e uma das coisas que a gente vendia muito para os clientes era aquela fita isolante. Né? Então, para mim, o que, que é o afeto? O afeto é a fita isolante das ligações entre os neurônios. Uma vez que você tem a ligação entre os neurônios, vem um afeto e faz com que aquela ligação seja tão forte que ela nunca mais será desfeita.